Hello and welcome to the Baltic Disc Golf Championship sponsored by Innova Discs. So we are here at Yolome Disc Golf Course. Um, it's beautiful wooden course, two different layouts and on the first day we played on a yellow course. And here with me are commentating uh, Rasmus Metsama. And Hello. Uh, yeah, and my name is Krista Reich. And here are the feature guards. We have Samuel Hänninen, Leo Piiranen, Oskari Wikström and me, myself, Christo Reik. Yeah, Finnish guard and at least we got one Estonian yeah. in, the, in the pool, so it's uh, good to watch. We yeah. had a feature guard vote, so uh, the players here playing all are voted in Facebook, so... Yeah, that's true, we had a yeah, feature guard vote and all right, here, the first hole, 144 meters, 472 feet. There is um, OB on the right side, OB on the left side. The OB on the right side is the fence, and the OB on the left side is the road. And there is also OB behind the basket. Oh, and look at that. The circles are made by Team Disc Sports, so they are the first organizers. And Someone huge thank you for, uh, for that. <laughs> All right, Hanninen is the first one. Oh, and these guys are going for the basket. That's They're, crazy. Yeah, you have to have great confidence. Yeah, it's but it's difficult to hold the start to be, and throwing that Leo far. But at least you're uh, that far OB, so you can have a easy pitch out there. Yeah. Leo B running. Also going for the basket, but it seems like it. Heiser out a little stable. bit. Yeah, it's OB, unfortunately. To backhand this asphalt isn't good, but you have you seen many many forehands. Yeah, the forehand skipping off from asphalt. So yeah, the forehand play is kind of safe, I would say. Bigstrom, Oscar, also known for his big arm, and I think he turned that disc a little bit too much. So that means there is three OBs. Oh, it's up to you. Yeah, I mean, I know that I have to like give it all in if I want to go for the basket and I decided just to play it safe, Heiser on the right side and let the disc just fade back in, you know. A little sketchy with the lamppost, but yeah, it was all good. good. But it's still, it's on a good spot, so. I was there in the morning, I saw pretty uh, many routes. Thomas Hüttien and went over the lamppost and reached the hill. That was crazy. Oh yeah, Thomas, also the Finnish uh, player, known as a big backhand player, huge arm. So Oscar, it just laid up for a should be bogey putt. And Leo oh. also. Ooh, yeah, that that's was cool. what I'm talking about. Yeah. Easy, easy skips coming from there. So I'm here, just going for the jump putt. That's your thing. Yeah, <laughs> I'm very mean, smooth. Just trying to get my par on the first yeah, hole. On the so hole, first hole, par. That's all. That's all you need. Yeah, par is good. Yeah. Right, so everybody seems to be very close to the basket. Now it's Oscar is. Putting for a bogey. What? Whoa! What was that? No like way! Oh, he's mad. Oh, I mean, uh, that was on the first hole. This thing to happen. That was that unfortunate. Yeah, you in for the lonely par. Yeah, I mean, this is the risk when you. When you want to go for the basket, you know there is uh, there is OB on the uh, on the right side, on the left side, and it's uh, I mean it re requires a good amount of power and uh, accuracy to go for the basket. So shout out to Martin Dasalain, who took a birdie from I think outside, and uh, Jona Heinonen from tap in. That's crazy. That's crazy. I saw both shots. Like that's amazing. <laughs> All right. So talk me through the hole two. Hole two, we got a 
122 meter par 3. Uh, you have to hit the cap. You got one uh, big tree that uh, many players hit. Yeah, the one on the right side. Yeah, and uh, if you hit the cap, you will have a look. Yeah, I think if you hit the gap and you have like a slight skip to the left side, it's um, going to be really close to the basket to go for the birdie. OB is oh, longer yeah. asphalt, so but that doesn't come to play. So it's a little bit of misrelease by me, and oh. I was getting really lucky there. Yeah, I was getting really At lucky. At least you can have an easy power. Yeah. Let's see, Hanninen also deciding to take my road. Oh, but he, yeah, he's on a on good the, spot. On the fairway. Yeah, he's on a good spot, on the fairway. Oh. Leo with a little misrelease. Yeah, just a little bit. That seems like he has a fairway there. All right, that seems to be a good shot. Just a little bit, maybe. It was a little bit too low, I think. But it was on on the line. The line was good, but the height. All right, so Leo. Oh, that up shot. Wow, that was great. Wow. That was so good. <laughs> Stand still with a mid-range, I guess. And seems like he had a tree in front. He couldn't go straight. Also great. Yeah, bullseye. So yeah, I'm having a like a jump putt. There was trees in front of me, so I had to go with a little bit of Anheuser. Oh, I wanted to. I wanted to get it though. One, yeah, but that's the best speed you can give. Oscar, for a birdie. Oh, Ooh, uh, missed on the left side, but it was on a good height. Like from the T shots to get as many close calls, it's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. So guys are tapping in the pars, and then we're moving to the hole three. Yeah, everybody got a par. So, scores after second hole. Samuel is one over, Leo one over, Oscar two over, and I'm playing for a par right now. That's good. Yeah, hole three. You're leading <laughs> the, this, this card. Yeah, but these guys, I know, they want to get every birdie they can on this course. Yeah, of course. Um, hole three, 99 meters. Um, there is Obi on the right side, the road. Um, but the left side is safe. Um, the most common play here, I think, is the forehand play. But um, well, it depends. <laughs> yeah, it depends. I mean, I've seen everything, like backhands and forehands, and I'm also going at the forehand. Yeah, that's looking good. Yeah. Oh, that was inside the circle, but it's a little yeah. bit long. Yesterday, it seems the sign is there to uh, affect you. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, that's on the right side. So there's sneak a through. Yeah, yeah, it's sneak through. <laughs> if you get through, it's all good. Yeah, it's all good. So, Leo going also with the forehand. Oh, that's a good looking line. Yeah, yes. the sand, sand catches nicely. Yeah, that's true. That's, I think it's seven, six meters. And Oscar also going with the Forehand. And if somebody didn't know, then Oscar yeah. Wikström is 2019 reigning Finnish champion. Um, he's playing very good, has a very good putting, oh putting yeah. style. Oh, nice yeah. Plan. That's a confidence booster right there, you know. So, do we get the first star frame? Let's see. Oscar is going for the yeah. birdie as well. One more. All right, let's go. Yeah. 
Yep. Yeah. Hole three, start That's frame. Nice. That's be what what we expect from you guys. Yeah. All right. Yeah. That's a start frame from us. We we got uh, birdie started. Let's see how many we can get more. Right, we're back. Hole four. Uh, bar three, 107 meters, 351 feet. I would say it's quite difficult hole because yeah. of the trees. You see the guardian trees are uh, on the left side. They're protecting the basket so good. Requires good, good shot to get through and... Well, you guys have a good four forehand so it should be reachable for you guys you're yeah. going with the backhand i'm going with the backhand i tried with i tried it with the forehand but i just i don't know i, just, I think you drew your enforcer that was actually um let me think about it i think that was a cutlass oh. beating cutlass oh no sorry it was a convict yeah, yeah. page pierce uh, page pierce convict so it's uh Fairly understable for me. Ooh. That's a tough spot, spot for a next shot. That is true. Yeah, also going with the forehand. It's decent spot. I think yeah. on this whole tree isn't that bad. That I is think. true. That is true. Also, uh, uh, easy jump pot to take a tree. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, let's not forget to mention that the competition itself is now two years in a row. Um, US DGC quali uh, qualifier, which means top five players gets an invitation to the one of the most prestigious uh, competition in the world. So. I, be, I believe all of these guys are trying to get the uh, invitation and they're trying to give their best. That's why we have so many Finnish people here, I think. That is true, yeah. But we as Estonians really like it because we we like the good, good competition. Yeah, we like the good competition and it's it's a wooded course. It's not the easiest course, I think. And the thing that uh, this Baltic Ooh, disc golf championships cool. doesn't mean that uh, people from for other countries than Baltic can can complete. Yeah, it's open, so um, everybody can come next year. Sign up. Join and, us. Uh, join us. Of course. Right. So. So a little bar frame, so... Yeah, that's a bar frame. Not bad on this hole. Let's see... Yeah, I mean, if you get a birdie there, it's kind of like a bonus birdie yeah. for each player. Alright. Hole, hole 5. 111 meters. Six, uh, 364 feet. It's uh, going up uphill. Uh, maybe suits forehand, uh, but uh, you can reach it uh, with backhand also. It's also like uh, you have to hit the gap, and then you will probably have a chance. Yeah, I'm going here with the beating enforcer, and that's a miss release from me as well. That's a tough spot, but um, I'm up there, so I have a chance to scramble. You almost hit the fairway with the second three kick, but 
Oh, that's the that line, yeah. That's a very good looking line. Wow. Yeah, that's amazing. Inside that's like the circle. Eight meters. Yeah, it might be even closer, I think. That was a very good shot. Forehand for Leo. Wow. Another great shot. Leo yeah. shows how to do it with the forehand. Green hit for Leo. Oscar. Lining up the forehand. Oh, that's a miss release. Yeah. Also on the on the right side. And it's all about the scramble skills now. I think he's trying to go with a with a with a, oh, with a flex shot. Hit the last three. So I'm going with uh, Tomahawk here because I saw this as the only option, but uh, still that don't turn out to be a little bit too understable for that you, shot. You will still have a chance there. Yeah, I still have a chance. I'm like at 12 or but 13 meters, but um, it's obstructed. I have trees in front of me and Oscar seems to have like a Open gap oh, uh, on the rim. Just a little bit on the right side, but, but uh, great bit though. Yeah, of, of course, it was a great bit. So, going with Anheuser. Oh, yeah, hitting the left side and, you know, have to aim for the middle at least to get the disc into the basket and Hanninen is taking the birdie here that's a great birdie for sure big strong in for the bogey yeah Leo got the birdie Leo got a birdie Oscar you got a bogey and I'm also tapping in the bogey yeah, this is the whole. I mean, the the whole course is like that. I mean, if you if you get off the fairway, it's all about scrambling. Yeah. And if uh, if you hit any trees, um, it's not easy, man. It's not easy. So we are moving to the hole six, 102 meters. Um, what's the most common play here? What do you think? I think backhand, like flag shot or. Little turnover. All right. That's my play. All right. Backhand flex shot. Forehand? No. Maybe. I'm drawing here Explorer. All right. Flying straight. Little flip and then we'll, it will come back. I think Hanninen is throwing some kind of a mid range here and it's. Inside the circle. Yeah, that got really lucky there. Yeah. It was flirting with the trees on the left. Oh, that's the shot I was thinking, but little too much, honey. Yeah, I turned, turned it up a little bit too much. I'm going with a putter here. Merci. Merci. And that was a miss release for me as well. A little bit on the right side, but um, but you I got, got lucky. Really I got lucky there. In the in the in the green. Ah, uh, it was outside the circle. Oh. It was outside the circle. What Finnish people call money range. <laughs> and Oscar going with the mid range. Oh, oh yeah. it's Late good looking flip. live. Oh, oh yeah, that's parked. That's parked. That's your put bullseye. Yeah. Oh, Whoa. that's that's really close. <laughs> That's where you want to be. Yeah, on every hole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Leo, it long for a tester. Yeah, that's a tester putt, but these guys, they can putt. Yeah. Like, Leo is also 2016 European champion. And I'm. Oh, ooh, yeah. That center. Right. That's a confidence booster there. Getting an outside circle butt for a birdie. Fearless. That was good, yeah, yeah. It's an elevated basket as well. That uh, just a little bit too low. 
but it was on the line. Tapping in the par. So Leo is going for the par. Oh, oh, it's just a little bit too high. Maybe the wind lifted but it. I say better high than low. Yeah, that is true. Better at high than low. Then you can give it at least a chance to yeah, go for a. At least he touched the construction, so he didn't, didn't, he didn't go past the basket to another six meters. Yeah. All so right. great birdie for you and Oscar with the bullseye. Yeah, that was that was so good. Unfortunate putting error for Leo. hole 7 it's 199 meters or 652 feet uh, you get the man out there and the whole basket is far down the right uh, first shot is like smash forehand or backhand uh, any yeah is it the first part four we think about it it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah. First part four. It isn't the easy one. It's you have easy. to get on the road and then you will have a look. But the uphill makes it a little difficult. I'm also going aggressive, trying to hit up. Uh, yeah. On I was the fairway, like, though. <laughs> yeah, it's on the fairway, but um, it was you a little a bit on the way to go. That's true. But all, I think all of these guys are going aggressive here. Oh. Uh, Oscar is over going all over everything. He has the arm to go for it, so... Let's see where it... Oh, oh man. Oh. That is that is I'd, so far. It would have been even, even farther. <laughs> That's very far. That, there's the next T. Luckily, he didn't hit that. And then it's also going all over everything. And it's... It's it's flexing back, but it, let's be honest, it's real far there. So yeah. it, you can there, have there you see, it's like there. it's 199 meter, and these guys are pin high. Here we see a forehand. Yeah, hitting the last three, but it's okay. It's on the fairway, and it's pretty good, good spot. I'm also. When you're at that spot, you know, it's really hard to go for the basket. But um, I'm just thinking about play take safe. The bar yeah, and take the bar and move on. Yeah. The corner is like too tight. Yeah. Maybe with the backhand. There was actually there was line. actually a backhand line, but I was thinking about it, but then um, it's so it's so tight on the on the height I was aiming for, and then I decided like Maybe it's not the wor uh, maybe it, it's not worth the risk. So you see these guys here, hand in hand, pin high, going More with the flex. going with the forehand flex shot, leaving it a little bit short. He can he can have a try. Oh, Oscar with the perfect shot. Yeah, it's really good spot. Uh, leaving it. Ah, that's nothing Six for him. Six meter putt, yeah, but it's nothing for him. He's good. All right, so little little bit of course man maintenance for me. <laughs> so going for the jump putt. Yep, mm. that's good. Yeah, it's close there. Half speed. Mm hmm. Hand in hand for a birdie. Oh. Missed from the right side. Leo is also... Uh, Leo has a chance for a birdie putt. 
which is a good thing and on the left side that's a hard spot I think I think they still think about the little downhill there <laughs> yeah like the downhill comes to play if you miss I think he tried to float it like he didn't have like Oscar full power there yeah, and you see Oscar he got a birdie from a perfect tee shot Tapping in my par. Leo also cut a par here. Yeah, this is the hole. Like if you if you hit the tee shot as the way you want it, you have a chance to go for a birdie. Yeah, like Oscar, he made this hole really simple. He just he go over the trees and he made it look too easy, man. It's not that easy, but yeah, these young guns can throw far. Hole 8, 103 meters, um, it plays, I think the most common play here is backhand, uh, fairway or a mid-range, just to uh, like let it fade on the left side and it should be good. But you have a really tight gap to hit and... Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, throwing right is a very common mistake here. That's looking good. Yeah, that's looking good. Yeah, I think it's inside the circle. It seems to be like yeah, that. It's on the edge, I think. I'm going with the XXX speed in. Going a little bit higher, so it can have a little bit more fade. And yeah, it's perfect. Yeah. Almost a bullseye. Close to the basket. I think that's what all these players want. To get as close as possible to, to these baskets and... All right. On the circle edge. On the circle edge. With a tough footing. Mm -hmm. Leo also, good looking line. Four, yeah. Four very good shots. Yeah, I mean... I think Leo had a like very good shot, but just the the sand is reducing the speed uh, when it wants to skip from the ground. Oh, that's a miss release from Leo to go for a birdie, but oh. good beats to a little bit maybe too high on the left side. Uh, Oscar is not happy with that as well. Yeah, we expect him to make it. But this golf is a really hard game <laughs> sometimes. Yeah. The putting is crucial. He, he has had uh, some uh, unfortunate uh, mistakes already, so maybe his confidence isn't uh, there with the putting. Yeah, the putting, man. Putting is so, so essential here. So, four very good t-shirts and you get the only birdie. Yeah. Happy with my birdie though. You should be. Yeah. Stroke on the guard. Of course. Final nine, final nine last hole, 109 meters, 358 feet, part three. Uh, pretty tight cap, mm, forehand or backhand little uh, turnover. Mm -hmm. I'm going with the forehand. If you have if you have a forehand, it's easier here. I think you little go a little tight, but you end up in. A, it's right there. You end up in a little good spot. Yeah, chance for a booty, so it's. I think all of these guys are looking for the chance for a birdie. Yeah, Oscar in the green also, I think. A little short. Yeah, a little short, but it's it's right there. Ooh, it ah, Hanninen got lucky there, but it's... Again, it's right there. Oh, close to the bullseye. Just look at these forehand forums. They're yeah. they're showing. Again, four four very good t-shirts. Yeah, 
techniques are so good here. Look. I'll scrape. Oh, again, a little bit too high. Like the last hole, he hit the uh, top part of the basket. So Leo was asking for his footing, and it was all good. Oh, that's a good pot. Making it look easy. From a six meter dead yeah. center. Good birdie here. Yeah, two birdies in a row for me. And Hanin and also tapping in a tapping in a birdie and all scurry. Have to tap in the par. So yeah, this is this was the front nine. Um I mean, let's see how these guys are going to play the back nine. So far, everybody's getting back to the track. Yeah. Let's see how how we're going to play the back nine at Yolo Medisco, of course. <laughs>